Hey, it's Morning Hog Happy Hour. 95.7 The Hog. Daytona's rock station for 25 years. Not that long have we been enjoying the Morning Hog Brew Review with Josh and Amelia from SR Parat. There's never enough time and never enough beer for that. Good morning, you guys. How are you feeling? Good. It's Friday, by the way. That's right. Right? TGIF. It? it is our happy hour now. We get to uh, start yes. things off where other people have to go to lunch and get their cocktails. <laughs> We get to do it right here in this room, and you brought four very different looking things. What are we getting into today? We got some cool stuff today. This is all new products. Okay. Uh, some are uh, limited, and okay. some are not. All right. It's a new Friday. A new Friday. Yes. I like this. All right. All right, Amelia, you're in the pouring spot. Where do we start? I am. We are going to start by a new flavor by Island Brands Craft Brewery out of South Carolina. This is their Lemonada style beer. Lemonada style beer. Josh, help me. All right, so it's lemonade and beer. Oh. <laughs> yep. That really makes sense, actually. Now you say kind of like a summer shandy, right, Josh? Thank you much. Uh, pretty, yeah, a shandy is lemonade and beer, so yeah. it's definitely going to have the same flavor profile. It's good for um, summertime. It's one of those things I never considered, like beer and lemonade should not get along. You know, they're completely different things. One of them has stuff floating in it. One doesn't, ideally, if your beer should not. But in this case, that is crystal clear. Look at that thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can look right through it. Mm. It looks so, like almost like champagne. So you mentioned South Carolina. What I just was informed that they are moving their operations down here to Florida. Whoa, oh. really? So the brewing operations. Oh, oh man. Here. Okay, that's really good. That is not oh, a biting right. lemon at all. No. That's smooth. Oh, it smells good, too. So uh, we had Island Brands mm -hmm. a while ago. Their flagships are their uh, Island Coastal Lager and um, Island Active. Okay. Uh, they started their brewery because they were over in Cuba and noticed there wasn't a lot of great beers there. Okay. So their initial intentions were, we're going to create a beer for Cuba, uh, super high quality ingredients. And then they realized when they got back to America, there's not a whole lot of breweries doing that either. <laughs> Really? You know, they're you know they're buying subpar ingredients and, right. and stuff like that. So uh, they brought their beer over to us in America, and like I said, they started here in South Carolina, moving their operations down to Florida. Um, a very lifestyle brand. Okay. Uh, if you check out their website, they they do a lot of cool stuff around the beaches and water and uh, you know boating and stuff like that. Right. So this for me is definitely a boat beer. Perfect. For Florida. Absolutely. Yeah, perfect. Beach Florida. beer, Florida. Yeah. You know, um, you definitely get that mix of the beer and that lemon. It's clear what it is you're right this is perfect we're getting hot it's getting hot in florida now. <laughs> hot this weekend hot can i read need... the can please leave please. all right let's do it okay okay made for easy drinking inspired by the coastal lemon groves along the mediterranean island lemonada is both crushable and delicious yeah. Kick back and soak up the sunshine with the finest premium beer and real lemonade. Crisp and clean, this beer is made for easy drinking. Take it easy. Uh, yeah. And I tell you what, that really gets me in the mood for beer drinking. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> Makes me want to put my feet up. You got, yes. you got anything? <laughs> yeah, yes, you, you, I, I, you know, our ottoman got taken out because it kept falling over. All right. As a, apparently, insurance doesn't cover a head wound. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, well, a similar looking can, but a different flavor, yes? Yeah, so this is their other new innovation, uh, Southern Peach. Oh, Southern Peach. You know so this is going to be... That you're in the South. Right. When there's peach flavor. Yes. That's right. Peach tea at that. Okay. Oh, so oh. instead of lemonade and beer, this is going to be peach tea. I'm going to be down with this. I already beer. know. Cool. I already know that I'm going to like this. Yep. Again, and four and a half percent. I was getting into some trouble at Perrine's recently, and yeah. they had some South Carolina peaches. I was like, all right, I'll try it. They're not Georgia peaches. Like, whoa. <laughs> okay, South Carolina, you did something right. You got the peaches. Mm. Oh wow, that that is a that is you a full peach, peach punch on the nose. Okay. Yeah, Ooh. it looks like peach oh, tea. Man. Yeah, that could be a problem. Yep. What are these? At what percent? Mm -hmm. Four and a half percent. Four and a half percent. Okay, maybe mm -hmm. not a problem. Maybe not a problem. A good problem right there. The problem is you'll drink 12. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Your boat could, you could fit all of these in your boat <laughs> and you wouldn't have enough of them. Wow. So wow. these are available in six packs. Uh, the most prominent place you're going to find them is Total Wine. Okay. And a uh, Publix, actually. Really? And then okay. local independents as well. Mm. Um, these come in six packs. Okay. Uh, right now, and then we're we're slowly launching them into the on premise, so you'll slowly start seeing them out there this summer. Because oh, wow. again, this is a great summertime beer. Are these uh, no? Are these there are only two flavors right now? Uh, of the two flavor oh, the beers, two flavors, correct. And then the other one is the Island Coastal Lager, which okay. is a super clean, uh, clean, crisp lager, and then the Island mm -hmm. Active, which is kind of their uh, low calorie 
beer. I believe yeah. it costs in at 88 calories. I guess the problem yeah. would be choosing between them, but that's not a problem. You just buy them both. Yeah. Right. right. You buy six of both. Yeah, exactly. I would want to try all four of them. And you can <laughs> yes. on Sunday if you come to Taste of Ormond. Just what? Oh, yeah. what? Look at our Taste of Ormond. Brews and Burger Walk tomorrow. That's right. Mm -hmm. Beach Street, 1 to 5 p.m. Wait, so those don't overlap. Exactly. Good thinking. One Good Saturday, thinking. one Sunday. It's uh, gonna be a Bruce busy Burgers weekend. Is Saturday. Oh gosh, mm -hmm. no. Now for uh, Brews and Burgers, uh, uh, as far as the brews go, I'm, I'm guessing guess our Prado has some beers out there. Oh, it's all it's just a little bit. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> Yes, it. all different flavors. Over 50 unique styles are going to be there. So when you buy your um, passport, you would get a 20 samples officially, but you could yeah. always ask for it. Yeah, you could. <laughs> <laughs> Just say, Amelia said I could push the envelope. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, Drop the Amelia card. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's good. Do and it. Then, and then, where, where are we, uh, where's the fun Sunday? Where's everything at? Sunday, that's actually at Destination Daytona. Okay. Yes, uh, in Ormond Beach. So it's Taste of Ormond. Um, we've got, again, like over 60 different things mm -hmm. to try. That's all as food samples as well. I'll be there. Um, yeah, yeah, Josh and I will be what are you there. Making? You making some food? Uh, are you going to do the beer? Like <laughs> the beer, okay. Yeah, yeah we'd like yeah, maybe I mean, a sandwich or something. Yeah. Some pastrami or something to soak up the beer. Uh, so that is, uh, <laughs> what time Sunday do we get things underway? Now so? that's from 4 to 7. Okay, four to so seven. Okay. that one you want to buy your tickets ahead of time because they usually sell out. Yeah, they sell out pretty quickly. Yeah, yeah. Very yeah. cool event. Um, something a little different where you get the same food and beer. Absolutely. And wines. I Lots like of wines. It. Ormond Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah, really? Do you call it? Yes. <laughs> right. yeah. I like that. Yeah. Without the nagging part of having family hanging around exactly. and sleeping on your couch. It's a food and beverage event. It awesome Great. samples everywhere beverage samples food samples all the good restaurants mm. that's actually a pretty good comparison because i usually eat food get drunk and then pass out yeah or other right <laughs> exactly <laughs> exactly and that's the capper to the weekend right there so you really uh, i had no plans as of this morning now i'm full up for the weekend there you go oh, there you go. Uh, well there's more flavors to try we'll get there back is. to a round two of the morning hog brew review josh and amelia and amelia amelia from sr Perot. right right <laughs> remix on the morning hog Hog on 95.7 The Hog. 95.7 The Hog, Daytona's rock station for 25 years. The Morning Hog happy hour is in effect. And we're in the midst of the Riggs and Guy Brew Review. That's Josh and Amelia from S.R. Perot. Yes. Yeah. We, tried some, we tried some very uh, interesting flavors on the front. There was some fruit involved. There was some tea involved. These look like none of that will be involved. You're wrong. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Take a shot, man. You gotta take a shot. What are we getting into? Uh, do we recall where mango sat on our? Yeah, well, the mango has definitely stepped up. Yeah. Um, obviously, the uh, blackberry was Black. still standing up top, okay. and um, and uh, you know there are a couple other berries we had a little argument over, uh, and then mango was sitting at a hot four, maybe a three. It had yeah. a it was it was four with a bullet, so it may step up now. Are we getting it, mango. Yeah. We're getting Whoa. two mango beers. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, this is a chance to get it up the charts. Let's see what we're doing. That is a vicious looking can. Did you see that? The side of this can, the side of this 24 ounce can, a raging eagle. It, it looks like an eagle that's either angry or hungry or thirsty. I'm probably thirsty. That's probably why he's raging, because yeah. he's thirsty. <laughs> do, uh, do, do eagles eat mangoes? Don't answer that yet. Let's try the beer first. They eat animals that eat mangoes. So, so, what, so that is a new product? It is. It's a new product by Yingling. Yeah. Oh, Yingling came out with a flavored huh? beer. What? I know, right? Finally. No, I'm just kidding. Did they, did, yeah, what have they been waiting for? Well, clearly, right. the... Well, you know, the mango train. Oh, I feel man. like this time last year, I was saying how mango's the hot flavor, mango's the hot flavor, and yeah. here we go. Still with the mango. Now, okay. I love mango, so I'm digging it. Right. So this is going to clog in at 6%, which is, uh, it's, you know, it's doing its job. Okay. It doesn't uh, drink that way. It doesn't drink like a sixer. But they're, you know, they're, they're looking for that little bit younger consumer, you know, the 21 to 35 year old, stuff like that. Okay. Um, our age group, essentially. Yeah. Um, and so it's cool to see some innovation from Yingling. You know, they do their, uh, you know, their lagers so well in all their other beers that it's cool to see them kind of get into the innovation space and try something new and step outside their box a little bit. The texture in here is like, I mean, there's a lot happening, but I'm, I'm, it's effervescent this beer, right, you know what right. I mean? It's got some, I like you know, part. it's like, it's it's kicking. It seems like it's doing some work for me. Like it might be alive. Maybe it's the screaming eagle part. Maybe that's why it's screaming. Raging. Oh, what's, yeah. 
so raging eagle. I'm sorry, it's not screaming. It looks like it's screaming because its mouth is open. <laughs> exactly. It's waiting for beer. <laughs> right? Um, one of the things they, they talked about when they released this beer was actually food pairings, which, you know, used to be a really big part of beer and kind of dropped off because people's, you know, flavor profiles tend to be different. Right. Um, but so they're saying like this one, Pad Thai. Okay. One of my favorite foods on the planet. Okay. Uh, fish tacos, spicy chicken wings, stuff like that. Okay. Really pair well with that. A yeah. little bit of sweetness. Um, you know, it's a really clean pilsner yeah. with mango flavor. Oh, okay. So it is as good as a pilsner. Yep. So Yingling is, this is their, I mean, this I, this feels like the boldest move they've made. I, I would agree. Absolutely. Definitely. I mean, the Hershey's chocolate was pretty bold. That's true. You know, but that was, a, and that was, is this a seasonal or is this going to be? So this is a full-time skew. It actually is available in 12 packs as well. Whoa, yep. really? Um, but if you want to kind of just sample it first to see if it's your, your speed, uh, grab, you know, several of the 24 ounces. Yeah. And then, yeah. And then head towards the 12 pack. <laughs> Which you can, of course, go to uh, srprot.com slash beer finder and find. But where should we maybe chase down one of those big boys? Uh, those are going to be in your convenience stores and Total Wine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Easy. Yep. All right. Cool. And by the way, uh, uh, we've had we've talked about our trouble in actually uh, peeling a mango. It's not easy. <laughs> but if you're an eagle, you can just crack that thing with your beak and suck it up. I think you're eating the skin and all if you're an eagle. That's true. That's right. They don't care. Uh, eagles don't care at all. All right. There's a bottle that already is missing a cap because you opened it. I'm glad you did. What are we getting into next? So another mango. Okay. This is Doctor's Head Mango Smoothie. Oh yeah. Okay. S not smoothie. Smoothie. With smoothie. a smoothie. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. You know they have to do everything a little slightly off centered. Yes. Yeah. Dogfish. Dogfish head does not need to spell things correctly to make you enjoy it. Whoa. Color. Thank you. Look at that pour too. A generous Amelia pour right there. So this is gonna have. It's a tart ale, so you're definitely gonna oh. get some tartness okay. to it. Well, there's definitely um, a different uh, nose of mango on this one. There is a whole lot of stuff going on in here. Okay. So. I'm wanting to see if you can identify All right. something or you know out of here. Oh my god! And then I'll so let good. Amelia kind of read off what's supposed to be. Okay, in here. okay, okay, okay. Well, I, I'm, I immediately uh, my tongue says, "Is that pineapple?" Mm -hmm. Immediately, but I don't know. I, I don't think it's pineapple. It's vanilla. It's a tart. It's a tart though. So vanilla. definitely vanilla. Um, obviously the mango. Oh god, There's no so pineapple, good. but I could see where you're heading in that direction. Okay. Right. Uh, Maybe just a combination of flavors, kind of. Yeah. There. Okay. Um, Seriously, I can't believe how good this beer is. Yeah, it has got all kinds of stuff in here. Um, mango, tangerine, there lactose. There go. That's where you were heading. Yeah, <laughs> vanilla, and a touch yeah. of rose water and yellow cardamom. Whoa. What yeah. I, don't know, I don't know what that tastes like. Yeah, personally. Yellow uh, cardamom. Yeah, I'm sure I've had it, but yeah. <laughs> right. It sounds like a label that you get in high school that you'd want to shed. You know, are like you I'm, a yellow cardamom? So yellow? the lactose isn't there. It's kind of what's giving it that texture. Okay. okay. Um, so lactose is is milk sugar essentially. Right. Uh, but it's giving it a very nice creamy, velvety texture. Yes. Um, and then like you the, get the vanilla, like the, so it's a very uh, it pairs very well together. Like the milk stouts have that kind of texture too. Uh, typically, we've had yeah. Before. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You okay. get a lot of uh, milk stouts out there. Not all of them, but a lot of them are trending towards using that lactose to get that very uh, silky mouthfeel. Oh, I think that. It's really a treat, this beer. Seriously, yeah. I'm yeah. super impressed yes. by it. I'm so glad we got to try it this morning. And is this seasonal, Josh? I was going to say it's definitely a treat because it is a limited release. Uh -oh. Oh, you see it, okay, grab it. Okay. Don't hesitate. Don't we talk about these limited releases. And I'm sure there's a lot of these people that go out and wait a week or two and right. it's not there. Yeah. If you're so, hearing this now, you have time to get to where? Wow. Uh, definitely Total Wine. Okay. Um, ABC should have some as well and then local independents as well. Okay. Chase and it it's on draft. Oh, really? Yep. Okay. Um, so definitely check out the website at. <laughs> yeah, srbroad.com slash beer finder. You want to get that dogfish head. The alarm has been sounded. Uh, and this weekend, again, we're uh, we're starting tomorrow on yep. uh, Beach Street. Yep, Bruising Burgers, 1 to 5 p.m. on Beach Street. And then if you want to check out something cool, also on Saturday and you want to check out King of the Inlet, the mm -hmm. award-winning fish oh, yeah. start coming in at 4 p.m. at Off the Hook at Inlet Harbor. Okay. The busy times to be there is going to be from 4 to 7. If you just want to go eat some dinner, sit by you know, the, the uh, inlet over there, watch yeah. fish come in, the and views, then uh, the views, the yeah. views, and then Sunday, uh, you're gonna wanna check out the Taste of Ormond, and also, if you just wanna go see King of the Inlet Awards, that'll yeah. be happening. Do you think if I went to like a fish market and spent like 1,500 bucks on this giant fish, brought it back to competition and win $10,000? Do you think that'd work? Yeah, exactly. I think, I think it's worth a shot. <laughs> I think it's worth a shot right now. I mean, the worst case, I could eat some fish, right? Sure. Yeah. 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 And you get a great photo of you holding it up. Yeah. You're all right. Cool. Hey. You're like, oh, look at the veins. Exactly. And it's four pounds, but you don't. No one knows. It's a photo. <laughs> you can pick that. 
Uh, wow, well, well, another full weekend mm -hmm. awaits you. Get these flavors, srprod.com slash beerfighter. Hey, cheers! Cheers! cheers.